to Gravel Crunchers, the Chanel Update Edition. In a nutshell, I have repaired the right shifter, the rear shifter, because the barrel head was stuck in this little hole and needed to be extracted using the Dremel drill. This is what's left of it. That took a couple hours. It was jammed in there good, and whatever this is, it's tough. We picked up a new seat. This is a GES padded retro replica with rivets. I wanted a riveted seat. I think it'll look, it'll look more correct. When you look at a nice bike, it'll have a brook saddle. It'll have uh, it'll have an appropriate saddle, and I think this is the one. And it doesn't cost much. I think that one was seventeen or eighteen dollars. We're gonna go with red housing and red handlebar tape. We're gonna keep the original seat post for the time being. And I'm just simply going to polish it with some high-speed polishing goodies. I have these ITM handlebars, and I think these will work out just fine. And the quill adapter is going to be okay. So this is set up. This weighs 630 grams. The original 3T setup weighs 638 grams. These really are beautiful. They're all in gray. Really pretty, but they're trashed. Same with these look pedals. Glad I can barely lift. They are so history. We'll just use something simple. And then if I ride it a lot, I'll put some SPD pedals. I have a set of keels, but and some shoes, but I really don't know if I like these because I can't walk. And I really like the SPD shoes. So these kind of live in a box like that. So we're gonna get back to Glenn Miller. And thanks for watching.